welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. It's been a couple weeks. Um, doing all right. Playing a little more World of Warcraft. I need to start doing a World of Warcraft segment. If you would like to see me doing a World of Warcraft segment, just leave a comment below. I've got Discord and stuff set up for my shit, so I could start streaming anytime. Anyway, I have a few packages. I figured I'd share this interesting garbage fire with you guys. Look at this. Ah, eBay. They took a piece of board and just wrapped it, and I got all of this. Let's see what they got on this thing. I got this in yesterday. I was like, hey, we It was an interesting book that I'd never seen before, and it was pretty cheap, so I guess that's why it came like this. I'm going to get some interesting feedback about their shipping. He used a first class envelope too, and I just showed everybody that again. There'll be a little box there hiding the address that I was showing you guys. Alright, so we got some foam and tape. That's interesting. And a book taped to cardboard, all right? Well, at least the cardboard didn't get bent, guys. Oh, that's some luck. Look at that. That is what you call luck. A single piece of cardboard. <laughs> Love this stuff. It's like shipping roulette, isn't it? I see everybody talking about the eBay stuff. Man, you just never can tell. I really think that these guys are high on meth when they're packaging this stuff. I mean, how they get their supply, you know? Stealing comic books. All right. It's a pretty rough shape anyway, so when I saw it, I was like, okay, it's got some. Oh, I thought it might have rust on the staples, and it does not look like it does have rust on the staples. That's good. Check this out. The Funky Phantom. Uh, nobody remember this? It was like a 70s cartoon. You know, I was in line with uh, Scooby-Doo. And this was supposed to be a uh, lying horror is what this is. Well, it was labeled as a Mark Jewelers. And it is not. I paid 20 bucks for it. Which is a little over. I didn't think Golden... I didn't... I'm thinking Golden Keys wouldn't have more jewels in them. But it is in better shape than I thought it was. Could lose or really use a press. Got a little tear right there. But the Funky Fan, number one. You know, it was a. Like I said, Scooby Doo rip off it. Happened not too long after Scooby Doo. One of those odd things that Golden Key picked up, right? Let's see. Mm. Mario. So this guy, he's using straight Gemini's, which is good. I like to see dealers doing this. So when the when the third of this came out, all right, take that off separately. That's weird. I've never seen me do that. Looks like uh, that's this is the center from a separate one. What they did. But, this is a spec book for sure. Everybody's starting pecking on these, I guess. 8 billion genies. I have not had a chance to read it yet, but I have. I'll have my number three in. I'm going to read one, two, three, and four all together. And this should be the recall printing error. I was watching the friends stream and whatnot. 
and I bid on one, and it sold. Oh, yeah, this is really nice shape. This should have a dark. So there was a printing error, and I'm looking for it. I don't remember what it actually is, but apparently there's some portion of the text inside that's too dark. I think. Oh, I just damaged it, guys. Let me tick the interior page. I don't want to tick any more pages. All right. I'll have to look it up. And I'll probably like show you guys on the screen where the coloration problems are. But these all look super dark. See, look, all these panels are way too dark. But I was under the impression that some of it was so dark that you couldn't read it. Because you gotta check weird stuff. Because I bought this off of eBay, and it could very well be not what he said it was. And he was selling it to me. Because people do that on eBay. And I don't know if that is. But you will know for the magic of post production. So I'll set that over there. I'm going to move on to my big boy. So this was in an outer uh, priority box. Uh, I spent so much on this raw. And I recommended the gentleman uh, ship a priority and he shipped it in shirt and suit because I spent 560 in the bid for this raw book and I'm hoping when she goes to CGC or maybe CBCS this one shit will be real and at least a 9.0 but I figure I graded it even if it was an 8. And the gentleman was talking about it being, uh, he said he called it high grade. So. And he had very detailed photos. And as you can see, he definitely <laughs> made sure this thing wasn't getting bent inside of 18 different things. But guys, when you do that, you make it incredibly difficult to get into. I think I spooked him with the money problem. I did tell him I was going to open this on my eBay channel, so maybe he'll run into my stuff. I don't know. Damn. Pardon my French. This channel is not sponsored for kids. All right. Son of a... to the last little protection, huh? Well, I guess the guy said he had it high grade, so he definitely wanted to keep it there. It was very nice of him to package it like that, I guess. Yeah, we can't tell. And he has a $230 price tag on the back of it, so I think that's probably what he paid for it last. And yeah, it might very well only be an eight. But I might send this to the magic pressers. So, I uh, did not. I don't like it in the mylar. I don't like mylar. Neither are hard. Hides flaws. Don't like it. I like to be able to see the comics better. I know, shiny. Everybody likes shiny. Alright. New Mutants 98. Everybody knows what this book is. The Bart Jewelers in the soap. There's a 
Does not look like a tear on that. There's a little scuffing right here. There's definitely spine ticks, and there's this little fold up here. A little ding on that corner, but I don't know, guys. What do you think? We're gonna find out. This is gonna go on a journey. I'm very FOMO'd on this. Two summers back, I almost bought a 9.4 for $800 and I didn't because I was saving the money for a book that I never ended up getting. So, <clears throat> since then, the Mar Jewelers have uh, been scarce and super expensive. So, I bit up a wrong one. Like I said, I'm going to get this pressed and cleaned and graded. I don't know, hopefully it'll get a 9.0 for sure. Maybe a 9.2. We'll see how it looks after it cleans. Alright guys, so that's it. That's my haul. This is my grail. This is why I'm not buying stuff right now. I am definitely a fan of Deadpool. I've got a 9.6 newsstand and a 9.0 in the direct. So, let's be adding to that. Alright guys, thanks for watching.